The Airbnb proposed visitor accommodation rate had a mixed response from guest accommodation providers at a Dunedin City Council public forum today. One member of the public spoke about how the unchecked rise of Airbnb in Dunedin was threatening her livelihood and her future retirement. The simple version is that we took a substantial financial hit as a result of the bed and breakfast rating changes and my efforts to ensure I have a modest comfortable retirement are now being threatened. Dr Julia Charity, who launched the Look After Me digital hotel in Dunedin early this year, discussed how platforms like Airbnb can revolutionise tourism but also cause unintended damage to the community. As these, this access or sharing economy grows in Dunedin, we need to have a little rigour around how that's mandated and checked because if it's left unchecked and council doesn't understand how many bed nights are booked through these non-commercial platforms, then there, there can be some surprises and things can grow quite quickly. Lyndon Wiggery says all the options have been canvassed in a report, but now the council needs the courage to get moving. They just don't have the courage. I mean, the mayor's getting very close to saying, well, look, there's planning issues, you know, associated here as well as rating it. Everything. They need to sort of start moving. Otherwise, we're going to have somebody, you know, burn, burn, the, burn the Airbnb down and somebody get killed. Charity is proposing community council and private business works together. She suggests Airbnbs with more than 28 days of guest nights, except they will give 1% to their local council. Roselle Le Bone, The South Today.